Hey, Dan here again. Well, um, this is kind of, this is where the American Tool Vice Grip Factory was. Um, there we are. They, uh, they produced the largest amount of vice grips. This was um, the home of the, of the vice grip. And I'll just flip the camera around here. My grandpa was the head of the wastewater here many years ago. Um, just kind of do some reminiscing here. And uh, we're going to be going to view the eclipse here. But yeah, I always uh, feel a deep connection here. I, I didn't really live here, but I, I definitely spent a lot of time. Just this giant building. Giant building. It closed up. And uh, this closed when they uh, sent a lot of the companies over to, to China. And uh, I know currently, right now, our, our country is trying to bring a lot of these jobs back. But they invested so much, so much money into this company. People worked here for uh, 40 plus years, and uh, it was just really sad to to see it go. But yeah, so this is uh, small town, small town Nebraska. There's a, an old elevator. It just yeah, a lot of cool, a lot of cool stuff. Um, you know, they, they took a lot of equipment out. They took, uh, took an army to get it out of here. They auctioned every, every piece off. Just, just bare bones in there now. But yeah, you know, little towns like this, uh, people are, it's, it's so diverse, you know. Um, people are, are pretty, they're pretty hardy, you know, they'll, They'll get through a lot. So when they took this thing out, you know, it didn't really destroy the town. A lot of these small towns have a lot of pride. So, um, but yeah, the town's still doing pretty well. Boy, it's just, it's hard to believe. I haven't been back here probably for, probably for about 19 years or so. Lots, a lot has changed. They got their, looks like a beer garden yeah. set up. But uh, but yeah, as you guys can see, this place is pretty big. The plant entrance is over there. It's now owned by a new tool company. Are they the making name. tools now? I don't know if they're quite into production, but they might be. Wow, I'd work there. Nice little little bars. A lot of times these uh, little towns, that's all they got is a bar. I remember when I was a kid, you know, we used to, that was the place you'd go. You'd go, you'd go there for entertainment, and you'd go there, you grab a burger and, you know, and a pop, play pool. But yeah, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Uh, if this is the first time you guys uh, viewing my videos, um, please uh, please like and subscribe. Um, I'm gonna put the subscribe button down here in the in the lower section where my where my hands at right there. Um, <laughs> just uh, just smash that subscribe, hit the likes, um, leave a comment. You know, pass this on your social media. Yep, the little, the little village of DeWitt. Yeah, this library. used to be a hairdressing, hairdresser. Actually, when uh, when me and my wife got married, um, all the the groomsmen and my best man, we all came down here and, yeah. and got a <laughs> a haircut and our yeah. and our nails done. Believe it or not, <laughs> you got like an eyebrow wax or something. 
And that's the blue and white building? Oh, that's... There it is, there's the old flag. I used to come here when I was a kid and uh, I'd walk down this little, little path here and I thought it was so cool. But um, yeah, I guess it's some sort of memorial. It's donated by DeWitt. Friendship Club, 1994. Uh -huh. I guess everybody's kind of capitalizing on the uh, on the eclipse. Hey, Matt. There's the post office. Is the uh, museum open today? Oh, I don't know. I think so. I'm going to go get my letters and mail them. Oh, okay. Alrighty, I think I'm going to cut it off here and then I'll uh, recap later. Thanks for watching, guys.